Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see by today's video, we are talking about the model works company Bolt Carrier Group for the Tokyo Mori MWS. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, I picked up the steel version. They actually do an aluminium lighter weight version. I wanted something heavy and steel in my gun, so this is why I went for this one. They also do a, an MR556 version, which is this one, which is just basically blank, or they do an HK bolt version. I didn't get that because I don't have any HK rifles and I just figured, nah. So I went for the blank version, but I went for the steel. Now, the whole reason I went for the steel is because I like heavy recoil in an airsoft gun. I think it's great. I think the more you can increase the recoil, maximize it, like the better, basically. Um, so for me, something like a steel bolt, I thought this was gonna basically come in at a heavier weight than the OG Tokyo Mori Bolt, which it doesn't. Um, so the Model Works Company Steel Bolt is actually lighter than the Tokyo Mori Stock Bolt. So this it disappointed me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was really hoping that this was gonna be heavier. And it's one of those frustrating things where they never tell you exactly how much it weighs. Um, I really think that manufacturers should do that. Um, so actually, yeah, if you go for a heavyweight setup, the stock Tokyo Mori um, bolt is probably going to be better. Um, there are a few other reasons why you might go for an aftermarket bolt, especially a steel one, though. So it's obviously going to be stronger than what we've got here. So this is like a, a zinc alloy. And obviously, being, being steel, this is considerably more sturdy. But I wanted to run this for a little while before I kind of bought it to you guys because actually the telling of how good a quality steel it is kind of you see that in the wear and the wear patterns on it so bear in mind that both of these you know have been put in the same rifles I've been using like heavy recoil setups I've been using high speed setups I've tried both of these I've, I've kind of put them through their paces I want to say I want to say that at least so one of the main points um, where you'll start to accumulate damage is actually where the bolt catch um, engages here. And you can see, I was pretty surprised at how, um, how worn and how damaged it has actually become. There is actually a ridge, which I can feel with my finger on the bottom here. So right here on this very edge. Um, yeah, not, not hugely impressed with that. Now, bear in mind, I've had this for maybe like three or four months. Um, this one I've had since, this is batch one Tokyo Marie MWS, like first lot that came out basically. And that is uh, the bit that catches the bolt just there. So hopefully you can see it's still very much solid in one piece. There is no kind of damage that's really happened to it. It's, it's almost even sharp still, like it's, it's great. So this is obviously an insert. You can see that because it's a slightly different color, but this insert is really, really strong. I've never had the pins walk out. So the original one is great, but what we're looking at on here is they've actually molded it into the rest of this. So what you actually get is, rather than if it wears down a lot, being able to just like replace it, with this, you're gonna to have to be like recutting the bolt. And already we've got more wear on this part than we do on the original Tokyo Marie. So, that's not great. That's not a great sign so far. Now let's get to the other thing that really disappoint. There are things I like about this, by the way, but we'll get to them at the end. Um, the next thing that really disappointed me with this was there is a, a movable cocking point right here. Um, why they have done this rather than just going with like the ridge design that the original Take and Marie has gone with. So a lot of people, when you first get your rifle as well, um, you'll notice there will be a burr that will really start to like pick up and you'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, look how damaged it is. Well, after you've run it for a few years, it ends up looking like this and it still functions absolutely perfectly. Well, almost perfectly. There's a video coming that I'm trying to work on at the moment all about like malfunctions and that's kind of what we're gonna get into uh, in a minute on this video, but we're, we're gonna stick with, yeah, why they went with a movable cocking point, I have no idea. And hopefully you can see it's already actually taken a bit of damage. Now, again, that's like slightly concerning. The fact that it is, um, 
it's also um, this is why like extra parts lead to more malfunctions like what why you would want so this isn't just one part here also there are no instructions that come with it to tell you exactly how to install it I had to rejoin Facebook to message model works company to ask them if I'd done it right <sighs> so annoying um like mm, not good so yeah movable cocking point um which has taken quite a bit of damage already and at some point may need replacing which means obviously contacting them more bother I don't want to do this I want to buy something and it's just done like set out the box so there's actually a tiny you can probably see at the back there is actually like a little spring and it looks a bit of a mess you know it doesn't look like it's installed correctly it is installed correctly that's just how it looks now it shouldn't really be under under any pressure or anything like that so it shouldn't break but it's all then held in with a, a grub screw so we've got a grub screw a spring and a movable cocking point where you could just have nothing and that would be more reliable in my mind so bit annoying that they've done that because when we look at like other aftermarket bolts like this is this is a how aftermarket bolt they've just done what Tokyo Marie have done they've just just kept it simple like do not overcomplicate these things there's no point but now getting on to there is one feature about this that I I love I, I actually love like there is one feature about this that that means that I'm using it a lot. And it's all to do with, I didn't notice this for ages, it's all to do with the geometry. And one of the reasons that this part on the top here is blue is because I've been seeing where all the scraping's happening, where it's um, contacting uh, the inside of the upper receiver. And you'll probably notice, or I certainly notice, there is actually, um, along this edge here, we do actually have some, uh, some wear so there has been some some movement along there now what's really strange is if you look on the original Tokyo Mori bolt you'll see this part at the bottom here which is uh, raised the part at the top is not so when we compare these end on you'll notice that this one is thick at the bottom and then gets thinner this one stays thick all the way and it's had wear at this point here, which means it's contacting the inside of the upper receiver. Now, my rifle is old, and I've been having you know misfeeds with various different bolts. Most of them actually I've had for a while, and like I said, we're gonna cover all this off on a separate video, but actually this Model Works company bolt doesn't really misfeed. Now, it could be, partially to do with the Volante nozzle that I've got installed in here. And I know a couple of people had asked about um, the Volante nozzle. And so I know that it fits into the original TM bolt um, and it also fits into this model works. But I believe some of the aftermarket ones, it people have had a bit of trouble fitting um, the Volante nozzle. So it may be worth contacting Volante. I will do, um, I'll try and drop it into all, all my other bolts at some point, but at the moment I'm still I don't have time, um, so I'm just not going to do it. Um, but, yeah, the fact that it's thicker along this edge here means that it's held in the upper receiver. And how um, actually make these things, which are, this is a, uh, they call it a How MWS BCG Diffuser. And it is a thin sticker which actually goes onto uh, the bolt carrier group just here and helps to prevent misfeeds or so they claim i'm testing it um so which begs the question i'm going to review this this how bolt at some point in the future as well but like why did how knowing that this was an issue why did they just make their design the same as tm they really could have like learned from model works company and kept the whole bit solid so like i don't want this video to run on for too long um but yeah, I've I've not really had misfeeds. It could be partially to do with the nozzle um, that I'm using, but I have a feeling because I can see these scrape marks along the top. I've, I'm, I think it's to do with this bolt, um, and I think it's been designed, um, in a way where they've really thought about that, and it makes me think like if they thought about 
having this, you know, so it pushes the bolt carrier group down in the receiver and makes sure that it strips the BB off every time. Like, makes perfect logical sense. Like, great in my mind. Um, but then why go with a movable cocking point? And, ah, oh, that just got me. It really got me. I just didn't understand um, why they had chosen to do that. So that was, that was kind of like the main disappointment. And the fact that when I got it, there were no instructions. There was no, like, QR code to just go to a YouTube video or something like that just to see how to do it. So really frustrating. Um, I think the last thing I'll say about this is, um, unlike some of the alternatives that you can buy, so like the kind of how and stuff, um, with this, you do not get anything else. Um, you, like nothing. There's no end cap, no screw. You don't get a bolt roller with it. You don't get a pin. You get zilch, nothing. You get your steel bolt, uh, no internals, anything else, and you get the the tiny parts to attach onto the, quite frankly, a little bit dodgy uh, movable cocking point there. And yeah, like I said, like seeing this damage at the front here again, not amazing. But if it's if it's helping me not to get any misfeeds um, from my gun, then I'm going to keep using it. Uh, it's as simple as that. I, I want. You know, reliability is priority number one. You know, I want every single time that I pull the trigger it to fire exactly as I'm expecting. Uh, I don't want any surprises. And actually having something like a, a steel bolt um, does give you a little bit of reassurance that things are going to be okay, um, that you're pretty unlikely to break it. Uh, again, having a Volante nozzle in it, yeah, again, I'm kind of bulletproofing uh, my bolt carrier group system here. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to kind of bring to you. But I do think it's... This is a bolt worthy of consideration. Um, most specifically because of this, just like this side of the bolt that they've just got absolutely right. Um, I really think that other companies can learn from Modelworks company's example here. Because, yeah, what... Yeah, they've got this right. I just wish that they had gone with the standard... Um, hammer reset like on, on the bottom here and uh, I don't know maybe gone with a, a, a hardened steel insert if they didn't want to have like case hardened steel for the entire bolt maybe they could have gone down the insert route like kind of every other company has um although saying that mind you yeah separate video about the how um there you go guys that's my thoughts on the model works company do think it's good because of the lack of misfeed. I do not like the movable cocking point, although it's not really caused any problems so far. I just don't like the, the fact that there's extra parts where they just don't need to be. That's always worse. Um, so yeah, kind of, it's a thumbs up and kind of a thumbs down, but the reality is I'm gonna keep using it because it's, it's feeding really reliably where I've had some issues in the past. And like I said, more testing is going on at the moment. There's, you know, there's going to be video. I don't just like bringing stuff straight to you, although I think I need to do a bit more of that because um, I'm kind of getting behind on everything at the moment, just looking at big projects and stuff like that. So um, I will bring the, the Misfeeds project and there's going to be a lot of information in that. Um, but also just to say, yeah, um, this at the moment is, is really helping me with that. So if other people are having that issue, for the time being, you can look at, at this, or you can look at picking up um, these things from Hal. But I would hang hang fire until uh, my big video about it, and then we'll uh, we can talk after that. Cool. Okay, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next video.